Hi guys, today we'll be talking about efficiency. Even though energy is conserved in energy conservation processes, not all energy that is put into a system will be output as useful energy or work. In many processes, energy is lost when it is transformed into other energy forms. By energy loss, we mean that a fraction of the original energy is transformed into heat that is often not useful to us. For example, we can see energy loss as heat when a person is running. The chemical energy from the food they consumed is transformed into both kinetic energy and heat. A person is said to be more efficient if a larger fraction of the food energy is transformed into useful forms such as kinetic energy and not heat. The concept of efficiency applies to all energy transformations and we can calculate it by using the equation efficiency is equal to work out over energy in times 100%. A. What is the efficiency of an out of condition professor who does 2.2 times 10 to the power of 5 joules of useful work while metabolizing 486 kcals of food energy? To solve this problem, we can use the efficiency equation. From the problem, we can determine that the work out done by the professor is 2.2 times 10 to the power of 5 joules, and that the amount of energy going into his body is 486 kcals. We can convert the kcals into joules of energy as there are 4,184 joules per kcal. Plugging the values into the equation, we find that the efficiency of the professor is 10.8%. B. How many food calories would a well-conditioned athlete metabolize in doing the same work with an efficiency of 20%? Give your answer in kcals. To solve this problem, we have to find the energy in needed by the athlete to do the same amount of work as part A, which was 2.2 times 10 to the power of 5 joules. From the question, we know that the efficiency is 20%. By manipulating the same efficiency equation, we can determine that the energy in needed is 262 0.9 kcals. When comparing the results of part A and part B, we can see that the athlete only uses half the calories as the out of shape professor. This is not surprising as the athlete has an efficiency that is roughly twice that of the professor. In these problems, we saw that in human systems, it was not 100% efficient at using chemical energy and converting it out as mechanical energy. In the professor, only around 11% of the chemical energy put into the system became useful mechanical energy. The other 89% of the chemical energy was lost as other energy forms. This is seen as well in other systems such as a gas engine, which has an efficiency of 30% of converting chemical energy into useful mechanical energy out. 